This is brother versus brother. Jonathan versus Drew. At 3,600 square feet, it's got five bedrooms, four bathrooms, and a list price of 369,900. A bit pricey for my budget, but let's see what kind of work it needs. Flipping a family home, that means that I'm appealing to the largest group of buyers out there, and that's great. But when I list this house, I am going to be up against a lot of competition. I like that you have the nice high ceilings. This just feels a little choppy and awkward. But this is a nice big living room. This is the kind of size that you want to have to impress a family. I don't like the sunken living room, though. This is a trip hazard. What is this? This is terrible. This is their idea of a theater. You have wiring coming through these curtains. You can see it. Look at it. That's a fire hazard right there. An extra bedroom with a bathroom on the main floor is a huge plus. It's tucked away, and it's ideal for an office or even an in-law suite. I'm going to stick to what I know works. You go for a family home. As long as I don't overspend, I'm set. I can beat Jonathan. In order to get this house into shape, I'd need to invest about $150,000. I could probably sell for $590,000, but I'm not sure if that's enough profit to beat Jonathan. It's a big house, a big lot. I'd probably want to get that price down a little bit. This house is listed for 325. It's four bedrooms, three baths, but it's almost 3,400 square feet, which for a single story is insane. This is it. <sighs> wow. There is a Lady Liberty. This is like a museum. This is untouched. Everything in here is how it was back in the heyday. I can only imagine the parties that were thrown in this place. I mean, you've got everything that you want in, in a kitchen, but it's just really dated. Restoring this home back to its original glory is going to require $150,000. Scary thing is, the more problems I uncover, the more expensive it's going to get, and that could kill my profit. Demolition has begun. I love this. It's getting me pumped up. Everyone is working hard, and I couldn't be happier. The game plan with Demo is Get it all done, get everything out of the way so that we can start pouring our concrete right away. Hey, by the way, yeah. are we getting our concrete guy to come in today? Tomorrow morning. If he comes in to pour this tomorrow, we can't have anybody in here working tomorrow. We can't. We only have seven days. Well, so basically that means now we have six days to do everything. Let's do what we can do and see what we come up with. All right, back to work. Back to work. I'm prepping the install of the 12-foot collapsible door. The city has asked us to dig footings to bear the weight of the roof and beam, and they're sending an inspector tomorrow to check the work. We're removing the hearth to give it a clean, modern look, and the boys are chipping up the tile so we can lay the floor. So the new footing has to go underneath the foundation, which is this right here, and then it has to be reinforced with all this steel. It's what the city requires, and an engineer has to sign off on it, as well as an inspector. Hey, what's happening? Hey, we got the permit. They just called me. We got it? It's through? We got it. I can't even tell you how excited I was when Tracy called to give me the good news. I've called my concrete guys. I can get them there in 30 minutes. I will be ready. I was so excited, I actually dropped my phone in the dumpster. I'm going to call for a same-day inspection and uh, some porn. Hello? Are you still there? Now that our permits are approved, we have our concrete guys coming to level the floors, then our flooring's going in. I won't say I feel safe yet, but I'm feeling better. Leveling out these floors was crucial to my design. Not only does it make these spaces flow better, it also makes them safer. And that's exactly what families are looking for. We're making great progress on the framing and fireplace surround. Just when I thought things were falling into place, while trying to open up the space, my team uncovered a steel-clad support beam. But it might just play to my advantage. People pay thousands of dollars to put something like this in, some sort of a beam that's a rustic feature. Right. Why don't we leave it exposed? It'll just give it this industrial look, along with that fireplace. I mean, that sort of cement look for the fireplace around, yeah. that'll tie nicely with the steel. I mean, if we can even get this up a foot, then that's going to make this whole area feel open. So let's do it. Let's, okay. let's try to make a feature out of that. Awesome, man. My design plan includes a stunning feature wall that will update the front entrance and give it a high-end feel. I want to keep this area feeling open and spacious, so lifting that steel beam even just a foot will have huge impact on this space. We are finally going to install this bifold door. This is also going to be my big mm. to Drew, because he is not putting in anything like this, I guarantee it. No? He just doesn't know what's involved in 
This kind of stuff. One, two, three. All right. All right. Getting these folding doors installed, it's quite a process. You have to get the frame in, you have to shim everything, have it perfect, otherwise the doors won't operate. This is gonna add so much value. This is gonna open up the whole back wall. There is no other house in this community that has doors like this. I'm gonna win this. These folding doors are gonna win this challenge for me. We just brought the inside out. Love it. Now that my door's in, I'm able to lay down flooring. My team is here first thing, and they're moving right along. These guys are making incredible progress with the floors, and already I can see how much value this is adding. It's warming the space up. The whole house is going to just be transformed. I like to add a personal touch to any home I'm working on, but I only have one day left to complete my custom entertainment unit. I have a slight advantage over Drew because I do know how to build things, and I have this beautiful console that I'm gonna have below the TV. I want something that's gonna at least stand up to that to make this a whole feature wall. Not only can I save money, but I can also get exactly what I want if I make it. We let the concrete cure last night, and I can only hope that was enough time for it to dry. We have to get the hardwood floors in today, otherwise, this competition's over. Hey, we're good, 35. Perfect. Whew, thank goodness the moisture reading came in at 35. That means we can lay the hardwood floors. We are still way behind, though. We're going to have to hustle to get this finished. The team will be here late tonight. It's a lot to do and just one day left. Jonathan! I can hear Mary and Peggy calling at me, Jonathan, Jonathan. And first thing I'm thinking, is there a problem? Wayfair's here! But then I realized, no, no, it's, it's all our furniture, our decor. Everything's being delivered. <laughs> That's the furniture dance? Dad. Yes! Yeah. Furniture's here! This is the best moment because it's just like a party. As soon as that truck opens, the stuff that comes out of there is what's going to make this a win. We're getting there. Look how great these chairs look. We have the winning room. I love this living space. It has sex appeal. It feels elegant. It feels modern. It's exactly what buyers want to see in this market. Pillows. Brown? Brown. I need to stop. I'm exhausted. This has been a hard seven days. What's done is done, and I just need to leave it to the judge. Vanilla Ice is our judge for this challenge. As a contractor and host of the Renault show, The Vanilla Ice Project, he knows a good flip when he sees one. This is it, huh? This is it. First impressions, what do we got? This is nice. It actually is. Aha. Wow. Great accent wall here. Uh, I think that maybe somebody's trying to win some votes here. Oh, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Sucking up. Well played, Gotta whoever's house this it. is. Well yes, played. yes. You know, you walk in the front door, and you're already going wow, which mm -hmm. is important. Okay. People love a wow house, you know? See this metal beam up here? Beam is great. Gives this opening a nice feel, because this room now becomes part of this room, which opens it up and expands it. And you pass through this breezeway, and you know that's there. And you know, it, it just gives you a good feel. Pretty sexy fireplace. Definitely got a wow factor. Love the warmth. This is a cool ceiling here, and uh, dining room feels good. It's in the open room. This feels like a good place to, you know, come in, have a conversation, good meal. They did a good job here. It's time that we get out of here and check out the other one. All right. I, I will admit, I have some butterflies because I don't want to be the jester. That is. Hey! Ah, what? See? You never hit your putts, and now you keep hitting all of them. Mm -hmm. Jonathan sinking a few putts is the only win that he's going to get today. Welcome to the other house. I'm ready. Let's go check it out. Nice doors and nice floors. It's a big open room, which is good, very inviting. Mm -hmm. It is bright and airy and colorful, very Vegasy. It's happy. It makes you feel good. It does. Yeah. So I think that you know the potential buyer would come in here and you know feel that right away. Nice shelves. You like those? These are handmade, but they did good. Match this, put the uh, the hutch in the middle here. Some nice uh, wall panels. These are great. And how about those windows? Those are fantastic. Those are money. Huge. Are they accordion? So that opens up, huh? Yeah, this all opens up. Very important. That Bring the cool outside layer. in. You know, it's pretty cool. Little bar set up over here. It's what funny. does it say? Ice, ice, baby. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. So both houses have something <laughs> that's pandering to you, the yes. judge. Yes. 
That's cool. You know, I'm putting myself in the environment. I'm in Vegas. You want to be happy and wild. And this is a happy, wild, colorful house, you know? I guess now it all comes down to figuring out for you yeah. which one stands out as the winner, you know, because this is all personal choice. It's close. Let's go marinate on it. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Speak of the devil. Get in here, sit down, and get to the point. What's going on here? I just want to know. I want to get to the details here. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm surprised that they were both, being that it's you two, completely different on the spectrum. They were total exact opposites. Heavenly view was a heavenly view. You had some great uh, focal points. Very neutral, warm, inviting. Feel very comfortable. Like, you could sit there and read a book and enjoy. Uh, Forest Crest was great. You walk in and it's happy. It's very Vegas. The open floor plan there, how you walk in, you see all the light coming in, and then it's an accordion door in there, so you can you, you know open that up and bring the outside in, which was was really nice. You know, one was really fun and happy, the other one was warm and inviting. So it was a uh, it was a tough decision for me. Which house do you think wins this week? I'm gonna have to go with Heavenly View. Wins! Oh, it feels so good! I, I have to say, because of the neutral tones, it would probably apply a little bit better for a resale. You have to sell these houses. Get in here! <laughs> I am the happiest man on this planet. Vanilla Ice, nice, nice. He has been giving it to me for a year, bragging about he's the winner of Brother vs. Brother. One challenge down, Team Drew, one point. Jonathan has some gesture practicing to do, and I have to get into my formal night's garb. <laughs> oh, gosh, this is going to be, tonight is going to be ridiculous. Oh, this is oh, not going to we'll be good. We'll see you guys later. Yeah, see you later. definitely see you later. All right. Welcome thee to the Tournament of Keys. of Jonathan the Village Idiot. Spare the fool! Spare the fool! Let it roll! The only thing that scares me is that when Jonathan loses something, that fuels him like nothing else. So I have to watch out. He's going to be coming to me like a locomotive. <laughs> How dare you disrespect the king?